Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. How is this year? Is it good? Is the Lord healing you wonderfully? Is He with you? Is He protecting you? Is He guiding you so that no harm befalls you? Hasn't He promised you should confess the promise? Praise and pray daily. Only then can you inherit that blessing. Wasn't the promise from Psalm 121. See the third verse in that psalm. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He promised, I will protect you. I will protect your soul. I will guard your going out and coming in. I will keep you from all evil and protect you. The God who protects you so says, he neither slumbers nor sleeps. A God who is awake and doesn't sleep in the day or night. He doesn't sleep at all. What will happen if God sleeps? That cannot be God. God is always awake. He doesn't need sleep. Only when God came as a man, Jesus slept after he died and rose again. He doesn't sleep. So when he was a perfect human like us, he slept. He felt hungry and thirsty after he died and rose again. He isn't like that now. He is a God who is always awake. He neither sleeps nor slumbers. A God who protects us. I know a brother in a city. He runs a business. He had surrendered himself and his business to the Lord God. He was running the business with prayer. It was a big factory. Many people were working there. They were exporting the goods that were manufactured there. It was a blessing. In the night they will stop the work. Only the watchman will be present for protection, right? One night he prayed and went to sleep. Early in the morning, he woke up suddenly at 3 a.m. When he woke up, the Holy Spirit spoke in his heart, saying, Go to your factory. The Lord spoke in his heart. He woke up and saw that it was early in the morning. Why is the Lord asking me to go to the factory now? The Lord himself was asking him to go. He changed his clothes and went to the factory in his car. The watchman was awake and on guard. He came quickly wondering why his boss had come so early in the morning asking, What is the matter, sir? Open up. Let's go inside and have a look. They opened the factory, went in and looked at every place one by one. Isn't everything fine and safe? Suddenly when they saw one place, fire was burning and smoke was coming from there. There was a shortcut and it had caught fire. They immediately put it off and saved everything. Even if they had delayed by half an hour, the entire factory would have succumbed to the fire. As soon as they said, danger is present there, an accident has occurred, a danger had come. It was about to create a great destruction. The Lord who watches over Israel neither sleeps nor slumbers, because he watched over us in the day and night. As soon as that Danger came, God woke his son up, made it known to him and protected him. That is how the Lord will guide us. He will prompt us only if our relationship with the Lord is right. We can feel him speak to us, prompt and guide us. Only then God can protect and guide us. If our connection with the Lord isn't right, how can God speak with you? How can you hear it? we will be destroyed by that danger and that is why we always have to keep our relationship with God proper not only during prayer times and on Sundays do we know when and in which circumstance we will face danger we don't know so day and night if we are in a relationship with Lord God he will guard and guide us beautifully the God who protects us neither sleeps nor slumbers we have such a good God. Praise the Lord. Dear Father, you are a God who protects me, my family and everything I have. You neither sleep nor slumber. Praise you for watching over me and guiding me day and night. Prepare my heart to always 
Hear your voice and receive your direction. I surrender my life to always be prepared to hear your voice. In the name of Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.